Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on how to use Google Earth's new Tour Builder program. The first thing we want to do is search for the program. So we type in Google Tour Builder into our search bar and see what comes up. The first link will bring us to the Tour Builder's website. This is a new Google Earth experiment that allows you to create essentially a slideshow of a tour of different places on the globe using Google Earth. Once we get to this page, we want to make sure that we are signed in. So we'll click on the blue button on the top right hand portion of the screen. Once you are signed in, you want to create a new tour. So we're going to click on the red button in the middle of the screen that says create a tour. For class, our tour name will be our initials and then the city that we are going to be visiting. For our author name, we will just use our first name and last initial. Now we hit the Create Tour button. This now brings us to our home page or introduction page for the Tour Builder program. It will give us lots of slides and stuff to add over here on the left hand side and will show Google Earth in the screen on the right hand side. The first thing we want to do is tell us about the tour that we're going to do. So, in the box right here, we will describe our tour. Now, we want to add a little flair to our tour, so we're going to add a photo to our home page. One of the nice things you can do is search from lots of different pictures that are on your albums. You can also upload photos, but we can also search for images. What's nice about this is they are already uh, showing the images that are labeled for commercial reuse, so there's no copyright infringement. So once we find a picture of Chicago that we like, we can then select it and then hit the blue select button. This will now add the image as our introduction image for our tour. The next thing we want to do is add our home place mark to our tour. To do this, we're going to hit the blue add location button on the left hand side of the screen. Now, this allows us to search for almost any location on the earth. We're going to start our tour at our school, so we're going to type that into the search bar. bar. The Google Earth will then zoom in to the number one selection that we have chosen. This is correct, so we're going to hit the Add to Tour button. This now gives us a slide on the left hand side with that location. This is a pretty far away view. What's great about Google Earth is that it allows us to zoom in and play around and manipulate the globe so that we get the view that we want. So what we'll do now is actually keep zooming in on our school and it will give us the 3D layering that we want. We can then move around on the screen, create different views, and even zoom in a little bit more. We can center it on the screen. Once we get a view that we like for our place mark, we're going to click the blue lock this view icon. This will now automatically make this the viewpoint that the Google Earth zooms in for this place mark. We can also then add a photo or video. For this project, we're going to be adding in the video that you're making about the World's Fair for your history and English project. As we move on during the project, you are going to build a week-long tour that travels to the city you are studying. Every time you want to add a new location, you simply hit the new button and it creates a new slide. So if we wanted to then go to Portland Airport, we can type in PDX, select it, and it pulls up the airport. Once again, this is a pretty far away view, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that we get a little better view of the airport. We can then now hit Add to Tour. It adds the slide to our tour. 
we can move this around, hit lock this view, and it automatically creates this yellow line showing us the way we're moving. If we want to change that, we can go back to our introduction page and change the type of story that we're telling. We like the 3D, ver um, what it does for Google Earth. So we're going to just change this to disabled. This will move us from place mark to place mark, but our map won't get all jumbled with all the different colored lines. We can then now go back to uh, PDX and type in a little bit of something about it. What's great about this too as well is it automatically saves, just like in Google Drive. So we don't have to worry about losing our information. We can then go back to our other place marks and the Google Earth will rotate in exactly how we want it. We can add in more information. So what, as one example we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding in our fact outline. And we can add in lots of different information about it as well. We can also hyperlink and add links to other areas of our project. This is a brief synopsis of how we're going to be using the new Google Earth Tour Builder program in our U.S. History class. As we visit this later on, we'll find out how to add more info into our different locations and build a full tour. For right now, all you need to do is create the home place mark at Vancouver iTech Prep, and then the next thing we need to do is click the Done Editing, and we need to share it we want to share it with anyone who has a link and click save. You will copy the link to share and then submit that into our Canvas assignment. This way I have access to view your tour and access to the information that gets posted on our home place mark, like our fact outlines, our cost analysis sheet, and our green screen movies about the World's Fair that you are studying. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing what you come up with for your tours.